Korea was the Cold War's first hot conflict. Partitioned after the Second World War at the 38th parallel, the Soviet Union controlled the North and the United States the South. Armed, trained and prodded by the Soviets, the North invaded the South on June 25, 1950. The South Korean army was overwhelmed and retreated headlong to Pusan. The UN Security Council authorized military intervention. In September, the Incheon landings turned the tide. Seoul was recaptured and legendary U.S. General Douglas MacArthur ordered U.N. forces to invade the North. In early December, the Chinese intervened and drove the U.N. forces back across the 38th. Over 25,000 Canadian volunteers fought in Korea, the U.N.'s third largest contingent. 516 would never come home. The in early July, or Patricius, were in reserve south of Cap Yong. On April 22nd, the Chinese launched a major attack and broke through the UN line north of Cap Yong. The Australians and Canadians rushed forward to plug the gap and occupied two hills that dominated the narrow entrance to the Cap Yong River Valley. If they broke, the road to Seoul would be open. The Aussies were hit first and fought stubbornly. After 24 hours, they were running low on ammunition and withdrew, leaving behind 32 killed and carrying their 59 wounded. Earlier in the evening, the Australians, they were withdrawing across the river in uh, fighting their withdrawing battle. And company commander asked us to fire on the enemy. We opened fire with our machine guns. We saw the Chinese, remember, we're three km apart, they looked like ants crossing the river. Now it was up to the 700 soldiers of the Patricias, divided into four rifle companies. Stone had positioned his soldiers skillfully around the crest of Hill 677. B Company was hit first at 10.50 p.m. The fighting was hand to hand, but the Canadians held. So when they attacked, they would first of all yell like banshees, trying to frighten us. And when they were 100 meters away, it really woke you up, believe me. They would mass their troops on a very small front. They would send in a row of men 30 to 50 across, 30 meters behind another row, and seemingly unending masses in that way. They all carried a light machine gun. We, on the other hand, had a rifle, designed in 1914, single shot, bolt action, the Enfield. Several hundred Chinese silently infiltrated the Canadian lines. Luckily, Lieutenant Gray saw them coming. All our companies were in the front of a slope. We were behind a reverse side of the slope, which uh, would have been about uh, 50 meters or 60 meters high. Unbeknown to us, the Chinese sent about 500 men around behind, and they advanced. I happened to notice, as did some of the troops I was with, them coming up the hill as they neared the crest. They didn't make a sound. We could hear nothing. I was detached from the action of the firing of the mortars with four half-tracks. Each half-track has two machine guns, 130 caliber and 150 caliber. As they were approaching the crest, and they were at right angles to us, about 60 yards in front of me, we opened an enfilading fire. As one of my men said, my God, it looks like somebody took off the top of an anthill. They were scattering. D Company was attacked next. The 24 men of Lieutenant Mike Levy's 10th platoon met the waves of Chinese soldiers with bayonets, Bren guns, and grenades but the Chinese kept coming. We were very under strength. An infantry platoon in those days had a complement of about 42. Mike Levy's platoon at Dog Company, where he got the intensity of the Chinese attack, was 24. Around 3 a.m., with the Chinese overrunning his position, Levy radioed danger close, signaling the artillery to fire on his position. The Chinese were within seven meters of Mike's position in massive, that he ordered his men to hunker down, and he brought the fire twice, these barrages on his own troops. The deadly barrages lasted 40 minutes, and thousands of rounds rained down. By sunup, the Chinese attack stopped. Miraculously, Levy's platoon suffered no casualties from the bombardment. 
The artillery support is what saved our bacon. I believe that Mike Levy was probably responsible for saving my life. Running low on food and ammo, an airdrop resupplied to Patricius, but the Chinese were gone. The PPCLI had held. The Battle of Cap Yong was over. Incredibly, the Patricius' losses were 10 killed and 23 wounded. Chinese casualties were estimated at over 1,000. It was the last major Chinese offensive of the war, a war that dragged on until 1953. U.S. President Harry Truman... Nā ka tanga atu ki Cape York, ka 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 heke te 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 pāla te rira. Nā ko tika tamatu haere nā ko wātea mo mātea ki te haere rira he pāla te rira. He tohutu hui a mātea. Nā ka haere pātu te 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 rātu mātea nā te no mātea ki mea ki Darwin, in Darwin. Nā riwe te heonga ngā hoi e i a wall, i a wall i mea, Keynes. Ai, nā ka tāriāna te tomate tima ki te kataia. Ki kataia mai o ngā kōkena ki ka tātariana mātu i reira. Ai. Absent without leave. Yeah. Tā mātu ki Darwin, nā reira. Ka kākihi, ka kākihi a ngā... Ngā kai mērā mea katoa. Ae. Ae, me ngā penihini noke mo te tomate waka ne. E he te rō te noho i reira? Ae, no, no, te... Ae, tai... Mahara nau... No te ahi ahi pūno, no te ahi pūno kā kā tai au i reira, nā no te no te rā a muri atu, te 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 ata o muri atu, nā kā uhe mātu i reira, nā kā haere kā kā haere kā haere mātu ki tō tomatu huri e haere pēra anda ka mātu ki Philippan, tō tomatu e Philippan Island, yeah, o reira mātu i te next stop, yeah, kā kaitua mātu i tō tomatu waka i reira, ne? the end of 1951. Uh, yeah. uh, yes. And uh, when the situation was different in New Zealand, you know, you, you were trained and we were still doing training on the way back over on, on the ship. But what happened? We, we struck a reef and... ノーテアタ、アンパウリトのね、アンパウリアンのかかかかかいとかいとやとまたわかいでね。なのてノーテアイノーテアイエギ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
え、からがれきまてかれかといてトップです。あ、てかとまて。いや。いや、もうね、乗れだな。なんか、こっちちょっと待ってい。これ、これ、タフチレコ。あ、こう、来てまらまといて、いてよ。てよ。なんか、かめ
no ka hoki pera te mai te ke te nei te dano salvage na bet te te mai mai te fanga ya na 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 ko ko no te no mai te te tura ngai rei ra ka ko ro te mai ke mai te ko ko puri te he me he he camp no American te nga pakanga tuu no 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 te no rei te 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 mutu ngai te 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 yuri nga te nga 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 hoi e kiro te o ke o kempera ne na ka 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 puri nga ka ka puri nga te mo mate oh ta ta te kai te ko ta i mara ma ne oh hmm ai me te te i rei da ka ka nga me e mo he na ki te trai wa nga nga wera wera ina nga me e ko wera nga ko rata nga me tu te i i i re re i re da ki me ki i wo ku ni i a pani a pani na te me te re me na he kon wo i pu san ne ke ma ri ki ki tu ki me ki ke te wa hi fa fa re re wa ne ta te me na nga ma ya ma te nga tra yo te kon fa o te re ka kon yo re ka re ka ki he eh ka re ki mi o ma ke mo hi te tra yo na te me ko te atri na hai no to i i i me i ka pi o ka pi o ga ba ga ya na ra wa hi te ra wa ne nga 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 tra ka no i ga ra ni yo ni ga ra ni ne ga re no mu ri no a tu au i na te me 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 ama nga me re ka mu he ne ki te tra yo ki te te ki te tu ki ta ra ka me me a ku ma te 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 ku ro australian i say australian army service for i happen here ga i ga me ga me e fa i re ha na na ra te nga me tu ta hi te we tu te ra ya ma yo no te 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 ka po ka po na no no for a mera pak to ne basic training on ne force matches ne iko to ite mu yo kitu wera o tera ka ga australia and new guinea and they had abandoned ship so we were picked up by a passing uh, oil tanker and they were going up to manila just come up from New Zealand and they were closest to us for the SOS so yeah so they were the ones that uh, that that saved us sort of thing yeah and um, yeah and from there on we had to go back to Darwin we only left left Darwin about two days before, previous to that for refueling and etc etc so what happened there with the helders they opened up a no american camp from the, from the second world war open up for the new zealand trip so about 300 of us and we had to head back to darwin and that's you know that they had not that came for us for for while they waiting we're waiting for transit you know and most of our trips were flown over in shuttle flights or by plane and um we sort of landed in iwakuni in in um in, in japan and um the ones that could drive the ones that had license to drive they were sort of they were the first one not to be sent up it's up across, across to, to Pusan yeah so what happened the ones that didn't have the license we had to do the training before you come we, we before we sent up to to uh, to Korea so it was going about i think just before christmas 1951 yeah 1951 when they first you now i got my license So uh, but what they did with me with that they could be in the kitchen I was working in the kitchen and uh that's the type of work I was doing and till other things came up you know okay. yeah um, what unit were you from the name okay, of the camp company the uh, uh, ISC New Zealand ISC yes it's, it's a transport company here okay. thank you for your response the second question is Among the battles you fought, 
which one is the most memorable? Yeah, actually we didn't, we were supplying from the, from the rear. We were supplying the uh, munitions and what, what, what was needed in the front for the front line. And um, uh, yeah, yeah that's just, most of that's just the type of work we, we had to do, taking troops up to the front line, working in conjunction with the Commonwealth, with the, the other Commonwealth uh, uh, countries like England and the Australians and yeah, if anything needed to be taken up the front line, we, we did. Yeah. Or the ones that are my, my yeah, comrades that, uh, that was doing all the driving and that sort of thing, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are there any unforgettable memories or anything you saw or heard during the Korean War, during, uh, you, uh, during your service, that you can still remember very vividly up to this day? Okay, uh, the, the most mem not memorable, not the, it's not sort of thing that we should be thinking about. The, the, I think about you people, right? And um, I think about when we were working in, in the kitchen and the, uh, you know, uh, I could just picture those kids coming over uh, uh, early in the morning, scraping in for, the, for what we had, we chucked out sort of thing, uh, you know? And we used to watch, I used to watch these people up going past the road and they're carrying their, whatever they had in the back there, I always wonder where, they, where were they going to, you know? That's, what, that's the sort of thing, that's a memory I was very, very, very uh, always in my mind to, and tell my kids, you know, how fortunate they are in, in the situation where we're in New Zealand, yeah. Okay, finally, the last question. So when you were in Korea for the war, Korea was one of the poorest countries in the world. However, as you saw during the last couple of days, it changed a lot, right? So what were your impressions on Korea after seeing how much it changed since the war? Oh, it's very, it, it, it really impresses me. You know, how did they get out? When you see the, the situation when we were here, you know, the whole place was flattened, you know, and to see the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, and the lifestyle, the, the uplifting lifestyle, and, the, and the, uh, see the kids are all of course, all of, a lot of these places weren't even around when, when we were here, you know, that the development of the whole country and, and um, the dedication of, uh, of your people in working in conjunction with New Zealand and Australia and, and those other countries too, you know, it really impresses me. I can't sort of uh, uh, talk enough uh, about the hospital. You people have has, um, has treated us since, since we've been here. It's consistency and and all coming from the heart too, you know. And appreciating what our, our, our country is sort of uh, supporting the old, other countries. Think about the other countries too. No, it's uh, it's quite a it's quite a experienced, especially when you've seen the, the destruction that, that were caused in, in the war. Yeah, coffee, coffee tea, coffee tea. Coffee tea, my kikune. Okay, uh, no, uh, put, no, pusan. I pusan, no, 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 no. I didn't make it in aku fikir macam ni dah ni, betul betul hari perayaan untuk kita kita rata hari ni apa ni? Yeah, New Zealand Tin Company, I say, yeah, Transport Service Corps. Yeah, na, eh, aku tikit tikit tu nula, tu nula aku ingat, umat tu, 
Mm. Ja, i Ryden journal. Mm. Mm. Var det... Eh, eh, det kom mycket högre på att det var 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 att now Cambodia might come here to refugee, a refugee point to go to Fiji. It's in the railhead, at the railhead. I read about the Tamate Mahi escort, and I knew what I did. Oh, Papa Kaka and I'm at the escort, but go ahead, Kuro him, Munga Tanaka get the Eric Day, kill or kill with Papa Kaka and Ned. ですごいね。ああ、みんなとのやまて、ですごいね。ああ、ボプン。3、3 Rock Army, not Rock Army. Rock Army. Rock Army. Rock Army. Rock Army. Rock Army. Infantry. 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 え、なんかこの辺りがメールのの、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、の、